We are taking a look at the pitchers that caught our eye this week. <laughs> you have to, when Tina Turner is on. How can you be stupid? How, exactly, exactly. Very true, very true. Well, this photo that you're going to see is proof fireworks weren't the only thing lighting oh, up the look sky at on the 4th of July. Is that magnificent? That's actually what caught my eye. And that is the sunrise taken by loyal CBS2 viewer Stephen DePadua. On the morning of the 4th of July, he captured this glorious sunrise from the window of his Streeterville high rise. Got Isn't the, that incredible? The red for the red, white and blue there for I'm sure. Yeah, you, yes, I, gorgeous. There's a lot of the uh, wildfire smoke that's still into the air. So we're seeing a lot of the sunsets like that this summer in particular. I want to show you another garden picture. I know I've shown you a lot of garden pictures, but this is Leatris oh, spicata. Wait a minute. Isn't a that beautiful? Bee? Yeah, I mean, the, the bees oh, are just beautiful. going crazy behind that. Off in the distance, you can see a lot of the yellow. That's the uh, black eyed Susans. I planted those from seed, but yeah, it's that time of year where where hopefully if you have a lot of these kind of native perennials, the bees will go crazy and they are. Mm. The butterflies are loving it. I've seen a lot of hummingbirds in my garden this year. Again, I'm still, you know, kind of learning a lot, but boy, I feel like when you have, when you're able to take a picture like that right out your front window, you're doing something right. So I, I'm are. very proud of that. That is for just sure. gorgeous. Yeah. You're going to go from novice to professional quite soon. You keep well, saying you're a novice gardener, but look at the gorgeous flowers yeah. that you've been just cultivating. Again, I show you the pictures of the stuff that's living. <laughs> you're like, you didn't see the stuff in the mailbox. Suzanne. Exactly. I don't show you the things that have died or the things that the deer have nibbled, nibbled on, and there are a lot.